Hi folks, um, well if you're anything like me you need to use regex uh, within your work uh, but if you are like me you probably hate regex a bit because it's uh, the syntax is pretty tricky and I often have to go and use third-party tools to go and check whether I'm actually forming the statement correctly. Um, so this is um, a Google Sheet which makes use of technology from a company called OpenAI. Um, so in order to use this, you need to first go and register an account at openai.com and get your secret API key, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but it's very, very simple to use. Um, all you do is just describe um, the regex filter that you want. So let's do something simple to start. And then in uh, this column here, we then go equals get regex and then refer to that cell b2 press return comes back with the regex um, let's do something a little bit more uh, complicated And uh, we can even do something like this. I can just copy the formula down here. And I'll give you one more example. There we go. So yeah, really couldn't be easier. So um, all you need to do to use this, I'm just gonna um, unhide this column now, um, just pop your own API key in there. So you need to pop over to openai.com, uh, open register an account, uh, copy your API key. Uh, they give you $18 worth of free credit when you open up an account, which is plenty for this. Um, doesn't use up very many credits at all because the, uh, the responses are quite short. Um, so there's some instructions here. Add your secret API key into cell two, which is that one there that I've blacked out. Um, uh, step two, enter a description of the filter in English in cell B2, for example, contains the word dog or cat. So you just put your, um, uh, your description in there. And it doesn't need to be that precise as long as it's uh, reasonably understandable by another human being, um, then you should find that uh, GPT-3 works it out pretty well. Um, and then step three, add the function, get regex, and then refer to the cell that contains the description you've given it. So let's say B2 uh, in this example, uh, put that in this cell here. And then after a short delay, it will then uh, give you the response with the regex in it. And then you can just uh, add as many uh, descriptions as you want into column B uh, and then just copy down the formula into column C uh, for the adjacent row. Um, you can, you can to, to be honest, you can put the, um, the descriptions uh, and the functions in any cells in, in this uh, sheet and it will still work. So uh, it doesn't have to be in cells B and 2. Uh, the only thing that needs to be in the right place is the API key it needs to sit in A2, otherwise it will break the script. Uh, do go and have a look at the script behind this. It's really quite simple um, and do play around with it. And uh, hopefully this is a, a good introduction to GPT-3 and its capabilities for you. All right, take care.